Windwood Bulk, we have what your garden needs to look healthy and beautiful. Unlike big box store bag mulch, we use only the best part of the tree. Do what the pros do and go where the pros go. Trust the local knowledge of the local three storm alert team. We're going to help you plan your 4th of July fun this year on the 3rd of July because we've got some firecrackers of our own on the set with us this morning. Breck Stewart is here with Chattanooga Presents and you know, of course, John Mark Griffin and Mark Warren. They're the firecrackers. Be and be in Tennessee. <laughs> I, I, I love it that you're wearing the orange white. Hey, I knew you were I coming. Love it, man. I knew <laughs> if I was going to maintain any yes. degree of control in this conversation. I'm just glad Tennessee has the ability now to feel as, as good as Vanderbilt for winning a, a well, baseball. Yeah, yeah, why, why do you bring that up? Man? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why you bring that up. You know, I'm, just, still, I'm just still savoring the victory. It's been a long time, been a long time, been a long time. Okay, I'm going to regain control, you know? and this is what I'm going to say. So we're all happy uh, that the Vols won. That's great. But we're also happier that there's this community pride around mm -hmm. here. So it doesn't go to Knoxville all the time. It stays right, right here in Chattanooga. Last year, Pops on the River was not able to happen. Mm -hmm. There were no fireworks. See Mark Warren, John Mark Griffin, call Carla and Breck at Chattanooga Presents and say they said, we're not doing this in 2024. Y'all came to them to say we want to sponsor the fireworks yes. and bring it well, back. Well, I mean, uh, that we, right? that's correct. That's <laughs> correct. And, and it's because uh, you might have heard this before, but we just don't put up billboards. We put down roots. And, and part of the roots was a celebration at Coolidge Park with the Chattanooga Orchestra and the fireworks at the very end. A family comes together, community comes together. It was a great event, and uh, it was important to my family, John, John Mark's family, so we thought it was important to bring it back for everybody's we family. We were all sitting here talking, trying to remember how many years it's been mm -hmm. for Pops on the River that once was Pops in the Park, and the truth is, Breck, we couldn't remember because mm -hmm. we've really never not known it. Right. So to think about not having it continue is a hard thing. Exactly, and we are so excited this year to be able to bring it back, and we've got so many fun things planned with a 430 peace love and happiness band that's when we kind of kick it all off um, and then we're doing a flyover right before the symphony goes on at 730 which the symphony is a staple in this mm -hmm. they play music up until when the fireworks go off at 930 so we've moved everything a little forward this mm -hmm. year but perfect I mean there's plenty of space bring your picnic blankets you know everything we'll be selling and um, we'll have over eight food trucks out there this year mm -hmm. so you can purchase food and we're gonna be selling non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks and it's just going to be really, really fun. The nice thing is, too, I know when we used to go down, I don't know if this is still a thing, but my girls used to love cardboard sliding down Renaissance Hill. Oh, yes. Is that still a thing? That is oh, still yeah. a thing. Okay, mm -hmm. that was like the place to yes. be. Yes. But the proximity of Coolidge mm -hmm. to all types of things, you can get the food trucks if you want. If mm -hmm. you want to walk over and go to a local restaurant, mm -hmm. you can do that, too. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's on July 3rd, mm -hmm. it's easier for them to be open. Right. Exactly. And people can walk, you can park across the river and walk across the Walnut Street Bridge. Mm -hmm. And there's so many ways to get in there, so many areas that you can see the fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage people to get there early, you know, stake out your space, put your blanket down, your chairs. Um, the roads will close at 3.30, so okay. if you plan on parking in that area, we recommend that you get there before then. Okay. Um, but it's just going to be so much fun. Tents or no tents? So tents can go up until 4.30 when the music starts playing because it blocks the view for everyone else behind you. But you're Good. welcome to bring them. If you come out early, we just ask that you pop them down at 4.30 when music starts. Good. We should always be polite. Absolutely. <laughs> we, 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 we're so excited about this. I mean, I can just remember, you know, when my kids, who are all my, my youngest one now is 27 years old, I can remember when they were kids. Yeah. Uh, going to the event on the river, you know, watching the, 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 the symphony play, mm -hmm, watching the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Such a terrific, terrific time. And, and last year when we didn't have that, when we didn't have the fireworks, that's when Seamark uh, and I decided, hey, this was such a, a great family and community event. Right. What can we do to make this happen again? And, and Chattanooga Presents just does a stellar job. Absolutely. Yes. Whatever Absolutely. they do, you they know. Do. And really, it was one phone call I made, we made, and I forgot about it. I came back around and they reached out to us, you know, and say, They didn't forget. They, they didn't forget. No, no. <laughs> no they, they didn't forget. I, I was kind of open ended. I said, What's it going to take to bring it back? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let me ask you this. And I am not a fireworks connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination. But to find people who do it well, I mean, mm -hmm. I remember going down there and the shows are just fantastic. Mm -hmm. It takes about two hours to set up. 
you know, Are I'll you be doing the fireworks. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I'm, away. I'm, away. I'm, I'm sure. going to Cleveland to that fireworks place. I'm Big going to drop about five hundred dollars. <laughs> that buys a lot of fireworks. Yeah, yeah. Roman candles. Yeah. yeah, yeah so I want to hand those out to people in the, in the audience also. That the that Roman candles. You know, that's the little flower bombs. Yeah. And we actually use a company called Pyrotechno, and they have done several things that we produce around town. They're incredible. Um, they let us kind of tailor the music that's going to be played with the fireworks alongside oh, nice. that. Yeah, so that's really cool. And on that note, you are allowed to bring sparklers in the park, but no <laughs> live well, fireworks. Sparklers are the most dangerous thing <laughs> they out are. there. It's a hot you know, ember at the very yes, end. Yes, you know, I mean, I mean, I, yes, sugar. exactly. I mean, <laughs> sparklers are okay, but you have like 3,000 degrees on the end. True. That's I don't think they should bring sparklers, well, but you know, I guess he'll bring sparklers. But please, you know, be responsible. Just be responsible. I'm just saying. I mean, they, the sparklers are nothing. <laughs> I mean, they terrified me. I did want to mention too. This is something new this year. We are going to have art vendors, and they'll oh, be around oh, cool. the Walker Pavilion. That's great. So they're going to be selling. Well, we're bringing in the local artists, and they'll that's be selling awesome. all kinds of really fun things. So if you want to go shop while you're there early, I mean, it's free. Kind of so stuff. I mean, this this is a win 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 win. I yeah, mean, free. honestly, and by the careful. Sure. Uh, and the fountains at Coolidge mm -hmm. will be yeah. going. They will. So yep. the kids will be now, in the bathing David Carnes yeah. will just do his part with the <laughs> weather. Do we have a weather forecast yet for July 3rd? Uh -huh. Have you seen anything? You can hold that off for a few have days. Have you seen anything on July 3rd? Well, the well, you seen anything on July 3rd? The next okay. week, all right? Yes. Fourth of July is next week. Yes, yes, yeah. I know anything? that they're still calling for heat okay. and sun right. Monday and Tuesday. Mm, okay. So let's just keep Seven going. Seven-day forecast will be tomorrow, okay? So everybody watch David Carnes and Cedric. And then if anything does happen with the forecast, just check our website, ChattanoogaPops.com. We will keep you up to date with what's going on. And more than likely, it's, it's, it's going to be great Are you going to be it's there? It's going to be great weather. Yeah. Are y'all going to be there? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. You, yes, I, guess, I'm, I know. I, I, think I, I get to lead the orchestra in the 1812 Overture, don't yeah, I? Yeah. I mean, when, when that part <laughs> of the deal? When that part that. of the deal? Oh, well, I might sit and guess it. There. I Maybe can pretty I much guess that. No. I think I know your answer, but have you gone to get a new jacket? Yes, I have an outfit. I have an outfit. We, oh, okay. And really, I was going to wear it today, but Tennessee you won couldn't. last night. So I, a, I, I went to bed last night, you know, perplexed and what should I wear? Okay, tomorrow? here's the thing. This is your chance. We what? have to go to break. So I know how the 1812 overture goes. Do yeah. you? Yes, I think okay. I do. You, wanna have, you know how? Ready? Wish I was a <laughs> rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoky skies on a rock. Is, is that not it? Dun 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 dun. Uh, gorge. <laughs> Summer is officially back, and so are our fan favorite Jack's Chili Cheese Dogs. 